Meantime, the first doses of Moderna's COVID vaccine are being shipped, the FDA approving its emergency use last Friday. This rollout will be much different uh, than Pfizer's, and FedEx is playing a key role in its distribution, and Frank Holland is out. So are you, you went down to Memphis? Uh, I've been down to that, uh, that world hub. Uh, I have, as a matter of fact, Frank, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Joe. Uh, yes, we are here in Memphis and uh, nearly 3,300 sites all around the U.S. They will get nearly 6 million doses of the Moderna vaccine this week in the first phase of shipping. Now, those vaccines, they arrived here in Memphis at the FedEx World Hub and the UPS Hub on Sunday. The first deliveries of those potentially life-saving medicines, they will all happen before 1030 this morning. Now, as you mentioned, Joe, the Moderna vaccine is different than the Pfizer vaccine logistically. It's less sensitive to temperature, no need for dry ice, containers weigh less, and there will be more of them. Simultaneously, FedEx and UPS will also ship 2 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine this week. Joe Stevens, the head of global engineering for FedEx, says it's all about speed and security. We're sorting these in, a, in an isolated location so that we can maintain that comprehensive visibility and, and, and the prioritization. Our team members have been educated, there has been training, and there's been an extensive amount of communication around both vaccines and, and their associated differences. With a storm forecast to hit the Midwest and the East this week, carriers, they're monitoring the weather. UPS said it did take extra measures to ensure vaccine delivery during their nor'easter last week. Both ship vaccines with a high-tech label that moves these boxes through their networks faster and gives constant updates on temperature and, most importantly, location. All right, we're overlapping weather maps on top of that uh, to make sure that we can have contingencies available. And we do have double and triple redundancy in some cases in case we have to move. In November, e-commerce grew overall by more than 27% year over year. ShipMatrix, the company that compiles that data, they say that more than three and a half million packages will be delayed by a day or more during Christmas week. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.